All right, we got Valencia back in the building. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so <laughs> listen, man, we, we, we chopped it up uh, the first time, and, and, and the first time we yeah. chopped it up, it was about a year, maybe about a year ago. Uh, a lot yeah. of things happened to you since. The very first time I seen you on uh, YouTube and you made a, was that YouTube live or was that yeah, Facebook that was YouTube, live? Yeah. yeah, that was YouTube live when you got pulled over by that cop and yeah. uh, he, he kind of put you in a disrespecting uh, situation. What, yeah. what have you been up to lately, man? I mean, you know, a lot of things change. I think I talked to you uh, once again, you 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 came back down with COVID, and then yeah. something would something was switching trucking companies. Let me shut up and let you go ahead and and tell yeah. you know tell <laughs> tell what's going on. So talk to me. So man, I I switched companies. I'm um uh, I'm one year in on leasing my own company. So that was uh, the best thing I did for myself. Uh, I did it the end of 2020. So I'm I'm one year in now, and it feels amazing. It feels amazing, and I needed it. I'm learning a lot more. I'm able to help a lot of people way more, you know, with the knowledge I'm getting from the new company, from you know the experience. I'm you know I'm all, I'm in the field with it, you know, leasing my own stuff. So I'm in the field with it now. So it's allowing me to help way more than I've ever you know helped before. Like I've helped a lot of people you know, get their CDLs, but now I'm telling them from my experience, like, I get to, you know, see expenses and costs and, you know, what I'll be out of and what I'm I'm gaining, you know, after, you know, what's taken out of, you know, the, the payments and all of that stuff. So it's, it's actually dope. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's actually dope. I did have COVID again for the fourth time. I'm, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it really, but hey, I'm, I'm still hanging on. COVID can't stop what, what God got in store for me, so. That's, that's just another, you know, barrier, you know, that's what's, something I got to overcome. That's it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, Valencia. So check, check it out, man. You, uh, you, 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 you jumped off of YouTube, left YouTube alone. And, and, and now you, you, you want hunted on uh TikTok. You, you gained uh, a nice little following. And I, I, and I would also think that, you know, for me, you know, I, I'm not, a, you know, as far as TikTok goes, I just do a lot of, I just do a lot of, you know, just a lot of bullshit on TikTok. That's it. Because see, yeah. my type of, my type of content is, is geared for YouTube. You know, a lot of people, yeah. there's, there's just way too many, too many trucking people coming on TikTok, talking trucking stuff. Some of them is all right. Mm -hmm. Some of them is garbage, and then some of them is mm -hmm. just mis misinformation. Period. So, yeah, I just as far as trucking content goes on TikTok, I just tend to veer mm -hmm. away from it, and I just do a lot of reaction. Right. But for you coming on TikTok and gaining a a, a nice little following that you gain, uh, mm -hmm. what do you what do you think that is? Because see, I I would think it's because you're a female, you you're alternative female and everybody just gravitates towards you but what 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 do you think it is it's the the vibrant energy i give off it's like i don't care what i say like it, and it's not in a disrespectful way but you know when you find your voice like i i found my voice and i'm able to you know speak how i feel without you know worrying about how the next person will feel about it and a lot of people want that like a lot of people, you know, want that that gift of man. I can I can do what I want when I want without being afraid of what the next person will feel about me. And uh, I literally, you know, get messages every day from people who tell me like, "Man, your your videos help me. Like, it's giving me courage." Or, "Man, can you help me become a truck driver? You're the first person that I actually gravitated to. I've seen a lot of other people, you know, and they haven't given me uh, what I needed. Can you help me, like?" It's, it was just a woman uh, who asked me to help her because, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not going to tell her name, but and I'm mm -hmm. not going to get too in-depth because that was a private conversation, but mm -hmm. she was pretty much saying, like, you know, uh, uh, th that people are making it hard for her to get her uh, license due to, like, you know, like mental illness on the background or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, you use that. You got to use what you got. If, if that's what they want to, you know, say that you have, use that to your ability. Because when you have mental illness on record, they have, um, they have outlets to help you. I said, so use what you got to get what you want. Like, I, I've met people out here with mental illnesses that are driving that. They are fine. You know, don't let that detour you from, if this what you want, go get it. It's a, it's a way around everything. One no is the ultimate no. It's just, you got to look. We like maps and puzzle pieces. That's what I tell everybody. Hey, with puzzle pieces, you got to find where you fit comfortably. And with maps, you sometimes you got to take a detour until you get to the finish line. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So Valencia, man, again, back to the tit tie. What do you, how do you feel? Uh, how do you, you feel much more comfortable making, uh, you know, jumping on TikTok and, and doing, and doing content for TikTok versus, uh, trying to make content and try to build a following on YouTube? Um, uh, yeah, I can say I do feel more comfortable. At first I was not feeling TikTok, but, um, I start reaching way more people. Like, and that was the goal to help people. So when I saw that YouTube got so many stipulations and barriers and boundaries and not everybody is really into YouTube like that anymore. When I saw it was TikTok for right now, you gotta go where it's hot. You know what I'm saying? You gotta if you if this is what you really wanna do, if you know you out to help people, you gotta go where it's hot where you can reach people where people are really gonna notice you. Mm. And I just posted a little funny video about me stopping in Tennessee uh, one day, and I was just cursing, just playing around. But I posted it on Snapchat. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna put it on my TikTok. Mm. I looked up, now I got 150 thousand views on it. Mm. That's what's up, man. So back to TikTok again. I, you know, I've been following you. You know, like I said, I've seen your your progression and all like that. And you, 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 you get you gaining traction pretty fast. And you know, congratulations yeah. to you for that. Um, but you ran into a roadblock. Uh, you, 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 you posted a video, and then TikTok kind of, kind of banned you. What, what happened with that? So um, I was on live, and pretty much while I was on live, somebody asked me what's my pronoun. Now you know that's that's something new to the world, like about you know trans the transgender community, which is fine, you know. But you can't just go out in the world asking everybody what's their pronoun. So when I address the person, like you can't just assume somebody is a transgender. I said that's not how you approach people. I said when you go into certain like states, you'll get beat the beat the you you know what I'm get, trying to say. You get, get the, beat up for stuff like the, that. Get <laughs> get the brakes beat off beat off of you. Yeah, there you go. You you'll be messed up. Like somebody will hurt you for asking them what's their pronoun. And you know, and now, where I'm from, now, not to me, say like I just take that wherever now, I go. Now let me but. let me let me stop you right there for a second because I you know like I said last time we was last time we touched on your your sexuality uh just a little mm -hmm. bit you know what I'm saying but right but mm -hmm. uh. What help me out? Help me un help me to understand because you know I I talk to a lot of a lot of transgender drivers. You know, mm -hmm. um, and they dope uh, actually. They really right, dope people, right? You know, I talk to alternative you know alternative lifestyle people. But what mm -hmm. is what what do you mean by pro? Are, are you saying pro now or? Yeah, that's what she asked me. That's what the woman asked me. What are your pronouns? Do you identify by he? Or him, or oh, she, or her. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. that's what she asked me. Okay, okay, that's what you. Okay, so next time when, <laughs> when somebody, you know, from the alternative lifestyle say pro now, then I, yeah. I wouldn't know what that means. Okay, all right, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so continue what yeah. happened with the with the lifey. So pretty much, like I just called her out on it. Like it's disrespect when I see signs of disrespect. Sometimes I look past because I'm just not in the mood. But that particular day, like, it felt like, you know, pe people are trying to come for you if they think you weak and that you will not take up for yourself. That's one thing I'm going to stand on. In my life, I'm going to always take up for myself because I don't care what's going to happen behind it. All I got is my name and my respect. And some people won't agree with that. That's fine. Like, oh, that's too much energy. No, this is my name and it's all I got. And my respect is all I have in this life. I earn my name out here. I earn my stripes. I swim at a, a vagina for my name, hey. I don't care how nobody else feels, but I feel like I, I need to be respected as such. I never put on my profile 
oh, I'm a trans or I, I never put anything. Every, everybody who knows me or, or, you know, hear from me, I let them know. I'm, a, I'm just a, a flat out lesbian. I'm not with this new era. I don't know nothing about all these new labels and stuff. So when they be like, oh, you a STEM, you a STEM, I'm not none of that. My name is Valencia, baby. That's it. Like, mm. and people, people get mad at you for just saying you want to be identified as your name. Like, yeah, I love women. And that's it. That's all. But you can't just go out asking somebody, what's your pronoun? And think that they just don't let you have a moment on their behalf. Like some people try to get a laugh off of you so they can, you know, shelter themselves from their own pain and hurt. You won't do it off of me. I promise. All right, all right. That's what's up. So Valencia, you know, we so let's let's touch on that for a little bit. Now how, how old are you? You you in your twenties, right? Still? I just made twenty nine. Twenty uh, in uh January sixth. Yeah. Yeah, that bit thirty come creeping up on you quick. <laughs> I'm I'm excited for that actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Valencia you you just said that you love women and all like that. Did it how how did you how how did that come about i mean i i don't want to i i don't want to uh i'm trying to put my words together to make sure i say it right if 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 right. that makes sense all right so like when did i know yeah when when did you you know when when did you start it feeling you know feeling for women instead of instead of guys I knew since I knew what like it was. I knew since I was a little kid. I never looked at a man the way I look at women. Like, and literally, I wrote about this in my book. Like, because some people be like, you you can't just be born like a lesbian. You can't be born gay, or you can't be born whoever you are. You actually can. Like, <laughs> and if if gay, lesbian, all of these things wasn't you know intended to be here, it wouldn't be here. Some people don't want it to, you know, identify with God and God created it. So we ain't going to speak about that. But if it wasn't intended to be here, it wouldn't be here. Like, I was born this way. Okay. Now, do you? Do in the family, you know, I grew up in, it was different because, mm -hmm. in the family I grew up in, it was different because, man, you know, they didn't like my cousins and stuff, you know, being who they are. So I held that back. Like, I didn't come out until I was 19. But I knew since I was a little girl. All right. Like I always knew. Now you say you came out at nineteen, so that's damn near yeah. what twenty, almost twenty years ago. Because ten years, about to, yeah. oh, ten years. Well, you're about to be thirty. It, mm -hmm. it, we we gonna use the thirty part. Um, but <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Well, let me ask you this: How was it? How was it coming out for you back then? Was was it kind of difficult? And Part, uh, hold on. In part two to that, I'm listening. Do you think that it's way easier now coming out than back then as well? It was difficult. Yeah, I I literally like paved the way for my little cousins to to be like who they are now. Like some, you know, I got a lot of family members that are lesbians or studs, whatever they want to call themselves. Um, I have a lot of family now that is out and open with their sexuality and. I had to fight to get through the door because just watching how, man, family members, like, for being they themselves, they got put out the house a lot or they had to go to their they girlfriend's house to be who they were. Like, it, it was ridiculous. Like, and I saw how they got treated and looked at and talked down upon. Like, now it's like my family finally to the point where, like, oh, she, excuse me, excuse my life. They're like, oh, man, everybody else just, you know, they just out about it. So we need to just leave it alone. We need to stop looking down on it. Now it's like, it's, it's a comfortability about the situation where it should have never been a judgmental moment. Like, when you have kids, you got to love them for who they are, no matter the situation, the circumstance. You got to love your child. That's just like if they got a disability. Like, you can't, you can't love them any less because they, they are, you know, disabled. That's, that's crazy, right? right? So why love them any less because they prefer the same sex over the opposite sex? Mm, that's what's up. That's it's kind of it's kind of crazy. That's what's up. All right, so Valencia, what do you have? You ever got any? Have you ever got any guys that you know that that you know that gravitated to you? You know, like oh man, she's fine, she's hot, she's different. Uh, I mm -hmm. I want to get I want to get with her. Have you have you like 
open yourself up to 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 get with a man and a woman like what's what's the new 